Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Kuro back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news video. Today, we just got some new scans for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot that just came out V Jump scans. But before we get into today's video, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the round and also Ultra Instinct those notifications so you won't miss out on the upload. With all that being said, y'all, let's get right into today's video. The first thing I do want to address is, of course, <laughs> uh, the bay Android 18. Android 18 would be a support character, as you can see. Um, a lot of this stuff is in Japanese, so of course I can't, you know. Um, my weeaboo skills hasn't surpassed that limit yet to where I could just, you know, read Japanese wording. But I can definitely speculate and tell you guys what is most likely going to be. But um, we're going to go here on Twitter here. So just to show you guys that I'm not, you know, I'm not lying and stuff that they support characters up here. Shout out to the boy King Zaro. Make sure you guys go follow him. His link will be down below in the description. Um, he keeps us updated with Dragon Ball content and just overall supports the com Dragon Ball community. Um, like King Zaro says, it said in my latest latest video, Android 18, Go 10, and Chunks are going to be support characters in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. So there you guys have it. If King Zaro said it, then it's it's more than likely true. Um, he's a reliable source and he's the, always the first one to get this type of information. With that being the case, Android 18. Now, when I see Android 18, guys, um, I automatically go back and think um, when she did in the anime and also in the past Dragon Ball Z games, um, as far as like her moveset and stuff. Uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see an Android 18 moveset video down below in the comments. But as far as like support, uh, moves the moves that i can see her doing and stuff as you can see like she's doing like a little follow-up attack right here um she can she can act like you know how android um 17 and 18 acts as duos like they partners like for instance in dragon ball Freddy z um android 18 will call out android 17 as support and he is very important to um, prologuing the combo and the longevity of the combo and stuff like that to follow up with attacks and stuff like that and things of that nature. So I'm thinking, you know, she's going to be a, you know, play a big part in that um, for you to extend your combos and, you know, make up different combinations. And, you know what I'm saying? Just all where I get creative with that on the end of the bargain. Um, I know they do not have this move in the um screenshot that we have here up on screen but um android 18 she does her barrier her energy barrier and if she's able to which i'm more than likely sure that she will be able to use that energy barrier in dragon ball z kakara of course because she used it in anime it wouldn't make sense for her not to have the move you know it's it's like a bread and butter is like Goku without having to come on me how like that's what makes her an android you know what I'm saying to be able to deflect and absorb energy and stuff so um with all that being said like I feel like her having the energy barrier move would be a good move to have as a support skill to have with her because you know you can deflect any projectiles that's being thrown at you by your opponent and you know what I'm saying just keep you protected because I ain't gonna lie from the last gameplays that we've been seeing you got to be kind of quick to dodge these projectiles that um, these enemies and stuff uh, that's gonna be throwing at you and stuff because you know what I'm saying you're gonna be having to teleport a lot and it will definitely help out if Android 18 can just throw up that energy barrier and just deflect those projectiles and stuff with others you know having to dodge everything every time we could just think what's our next move could be or you can use that time to power up to super saiyajin 3 you know what I'm saying super saiyan 3 super saiyan 1 2 or even kyle king so i'm glad she's in the game of course like why wouldn't she be if <laughs> bother what you're asking but um I'm also happy and content with her being a support character, you know. 
she's not like a main character so like she she's a villain at one point so like i get why she's not a playable character in dragon ball z kakarai because i mean that would mean we would have to play on the villain side you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying she doesn't 100 percent become like you know a hero i wouldn't say like a hero but you know become on the good side for a little minute to Roughly around super to to the point where we able to play as her, you know what I'm saying, go up against other villains and stuff like that. Now in the tournament of power, yeah, I can see why we'll be able to play her, with her as a playable character, but unfortunately we don't have any signs. Well, we, we have a, a bit of signs that Dragon Ball Super might be in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but as far as Z, um, that's not quite the case. And with Android 18 being out the way, guys, we have Gold 10 and Trunks being support characters in the game as well. Um, I, like I said, I kind of will see that um, Gold 10 and Trunks not being playable characters in the game. Of course, like it will make sense for them to be support characters, but um, like I was saying in one of my reaction videos uh, a while back, I initially thought that we, for one point, that we will be able to play with them as a you know playable character in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but I don't think that's quite the case now. I feel like we just gonna be able to play with Go Tanks, cause you know we gotta go, cause he he was like a main, I wouldn't say a main character, but it was a a main event. You know what I'm saying? Like when Go Ten, when Go Tanks had to go up against. Uh, Super Boo. But anyway, um, I'm kind of digressing at that point there. Gold 10 and Trunks. Um, as far as like Trunks moves, the moves that I can see him doing, you know, for support, um, like when I think back on some of the other Dragon Ball Z games that some of the moves he did in the game and just overall the anime too. Like when I when I say the game, I'm, I'm meaning the anime too as well. I could see him doing like Finish Buster because he did do that move a lot in Finish Buster. I say in Finish Buster. Yeah, no, I do. In Dragon Ball, I mean, my bad. <laughs> Get my words mixed up. So I can see him doing that move a lot for a support character. And of course, Go 10 with the Command Mail Wave. I feel like when you have these characters on your screen, because even if, if you just look right here, you, you guys see Gohan and then you see Go 10 and Chunks right here. That is definitely like a team attack right there so when you link these guys up with your team and you equip the white soul emblems with them and stuff like that because it would make sense you know it's kind of like iconic almost when you have um chunks goten and gohan on the same team you know on the same bracket uh with the soul emblems as well and you'll get like a special team attack with them to inflict a lot of damage or more damage on the opponent that you fighting up against. I mean, clearly this gotta be what that is, bro. Because if you look down here at this screenshot right here, you can definitely see Goten and um, Gohan doing the Kamehameha wave at the same time. Yeah, I'm definitely assuming this what that is just to um reiterate like i said i, I do want to ask another question and you guys let me know what y'all think down below in the comments as well so if this being the case where you equip different solid emblems to get you know combinations and get these boosts and things and get these special uh, attack combinations and things like that if you equip goku of course you have goku gohan and goten Technically, you should be able to do the the Super Command Mail wave, right? The one where they uh, went up against Broly with, and they had to do the Command Mail wave. I know move characters is not confirmed in the game, but technically they should still be in the game because, of course, Broly's not in the game, but their moves should be still in the game. You know what I'm saying? You guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'm I'm glad to see more support characters being added to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot because I know support characters is going to be very important in this game, especially going up against boss fights and, you know, powerful opponents and things of that nature. Um, you guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Where, what are some of you guys' speculations? Uh, let me know down below in the comments. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. Before we get out of here, 
make sure you subscribe to join the realm if you are new and also ultra instinct those notifications so you won't miss out on the upload if you enjoyed the vibes of the video or you found it really informative considering this sharing the video with your homie so more people can see that angel 18 go 10 and trunks is being added in as support characters in the game and with all that being said child i'm gonna instant transmission to my next video